Bueno, nos da mucho gusto estar en Tijuana. Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, or AMLO, opened his Friday news conference in Tijuana with a lot of compliments, support, and love for the people of Baja California and their governor. Amor con amor se paga. Queremos mucho a la gente de Baja California. But it didn't take long for him to talk about the wave of crime throughout the border state that caused fear and panic last weekend. Cartels went on a rampage, burning dozens of cars, some businesses, creating blockades and telling people to stay home, essentially shutting down the busiest border crossing in the U.S. Que no está sola, que el gobierno federal la va a apoyar siempre. Ahora que se presentaron estos hechos lamentables. While his trip was pre-scheduled, AMLO said he came to tell Governor Marina del Pilar she's not alone and called the events regrettable. He also said she immediately received support from their defense department. Siempre vamos a estar junto a ella para apoyar al pueblo de Baja California. When the governor took the podium, she welcomed the president and addressed the violence. Hace una semana, algunos cobardes quisieron asustarnos y se toparon con un brazo poderoso. Se encontraron con un pueblo uniformado. Saying a week ago, cowards tried to scare us, but they encountered a powerful arm of the uniformed forces and people who stood united. She also blamed political opponents who took advantage of the chaos by spreading fake news to sow fear and uncertainty, but she said they failed too. <laughs> During the question and answer session, the president called the weekend of chaos propaganda by both the cartels and his political opponents. De lo que no tengo duda es de que hubo propaganda por parte de los grupos que llevaron a cabo estas acciones del crimen organizado. Veteran journalist Vicente Calderón of TijuanaPress.com was born and raised in the border city and has covered it for over three decades. He says this was a missed opportunity for the president to give a new message for a community that is used to crime but felt something different this last weekend. I was disappointed because he basically said the same things that he has been saying from the beginning about these incidents. This is that public uh, displays of power in an effort to um, to make his administrations look bad. Calderón worries that the president is sticking to what many see as a failed policy towards organized crime. You don't see uh, many people confident on the hogs, not bullets policy is working against the uh, organized crime. You know, he has that slogan, you know, abrazos, no balazos, you know, hugs, not bullets, when it comes to talking about narco traffickers and the cartels. Congressman Juan Vargas represents a district that hugs the border. He says he's among those who are not confident in the president's policy, and it's time to take a tough stance. It's a horrible tragedy, and I have to say, I put a lot of the blame right at the feet of the president, AMLO. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.